Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Check this out. This one is beautiful. I'm still here. I still have to do two more videos after this one. So basically, I'm talking to you guys about what helped me with my confusion and my mind and how I did it with my level, but I found out that there's different people that do it in different ways. But because that was such a rainbow inside and my mind was all over the place, I came to realize that I started aligning my body to calm my confusion and my rainbow inside when I started with first I started with my working out when I started losing my weight I started releasing my stress I started letting go of my you know of all that mental fog that I had inside my mind and my stress and my trauma and my emotions and my feelings because I was putting attention into doing that okay second <laughs> eating healthier making better choices with the food that I was eating and it's like the first year literally I like changed from eating like all this bunch of fucking junk food to being more conscious of what I fed in my mouth, you know, and what I put in my mouth. And yeah, like I'm trying to become full vegan. Not yet. But it's one of the things that I really want to do. Then after that, the third thing that helped me to find me myself because started with my body. Then I went into my stomach, you know, eating be better. And then I went into my spirit, you know, my meditation and my mind. Um, my food, I think, was connected with the intuition. So I kind of put it into perspective. Um, the next thing was meditation. Meditation really helped me find myself and figure out what the heck I needed to do and what I needed to do and why I needed to do it. So, yeah, that was the third thing um, that helped me balance my mind, my confusion and all that craziness I had in my mind. <laughs> Which is okay as me and that basically helped me also find myself a lot like right now with rachel um i just gave her a feta cheese sandwich with spinach and egg and she was like this shit is good i'm like oh, i know it's good i made it <laughs> and um she's like this shit is healthy i'm like yeah it's good too dude so it's, i'm still eating eggs you know and things like that and cheese feta cheese and stuff like that but i'm really like I, I'm so blessed that I can this conscious event. I met people that I now I noticed that they calm their minds in different levels. I met somebody that he said he says has said girl, and he just did it through consciousness, you know, just thinking, analyzing, and going through his life like that. I do it through meditation and going diving deep within myself, you know. Everybody has different levels, and everybody has a different level of mentality of consciousness and how they think too. Because this person that I met, like he's really fucking smart, very wise. I mean, he's a brother and shit, and it's like, dude, like, he, dude, I respect you. He said, you have a lot of wisdom instead of you. So them all, thank you, I appreciate it. I'm learning, I'm finding my own wisdom and shit. He said, no, you do, I could see it. And I'm like, oh, thank you. So yeah, that's what sage means, means wisdom and shit. So I'm just saying my own ways, but I've noticed that everybody's in a different level of consciousness and a different level of mentality, different level of how you put your peace of mind inside your head and how you put together your rainbow and you start understanding life, so... Yeah. <laughs> so that was like basically you know how I did it. I started with working out because I started releasing my stress I started releasing my trauma then I started letting go of all my shit and I started like putting into intentions you know where I meditated that I was releasing you know putting the intention is one of the biggest thing too like even when I eat my food now I'm like I eat greens and I'm like okay it goes to my heart chakra aligning my chakras was one of the biggest things that helped me a lot I started with my root chakra which is at the base of my spine like you know and then after that it was my sacral chakra my root chakra is when you're born between age one and seven then after that is my sacral chakra that's inspiration having you know like having the the creativity to do stuff like this you know like finding out what ideas you're gonna have in your mind that's when i started like i was like okay i have to do my youtube and shit and then the third one is your sacred your solar plexus which is believing in yourself self empowerment believing in yourself and that you're worth it and then it's your heart my heart to heal my heart i literally started with crystals and i went to a sister and she gave me this white crystal which i kind of intuitively connected it with the amethyst which connects you to your third eye and then the la the little brown one connects you to believing in yourself and there's also selenite which clears all the, the vibes around it so that's why i had this crystal because you know it connects with my energies but i did it intuitively you know my higher self told me to put it together like that so i love it and that's i don't care how it looks it's me so anyways, after killing my heart, I heal about my mom, my kids' issues, my exes, all my trauma growing up, and all that shit. So 
that was with that and then after healing my heart i started doing my throat chakra when my throat chakra started saying my truth that's why i call this channel my truth because this is my truth and how i heal myself and that's why i started doing my youtube channel because i needed to express myself and if i wouldn't have done it i would have gone crazy inside my head and this is when i started my youtube channel because this is part of my truth and after my third you know my my throat chakra and healing my heart i went into my third eye chakra which is connected to my gut you know and trusting in my intuition and believing in myself and you know things like that connecting to you know god to god and my higher self and then which is the last one the crown chakra which is connecting to spirits and connecting to a more level of consciousness where we're one and one is all and like i noticed that even this tree has a beautiful spirit inside animals have spirits inside and you know little things like that it's like everybody has a spirit inside and we're one and you're me and i'm you and it's like yeah that's calm my mind too and shit and that's why i respect everybody because everybody has a beautiful soul inside of them sometimes we just don't see it and we don't know about it so yeah that's with that and yeah it's like really 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 cool and i love I love it because it calmed my mind. I love it because it helped me find me and it helped me give all my confusion rainbow shit inside and shit. Aligning my chakras and yeah, that's how I find peace of mind inside my head. And that's how I found happiness and I created my own happiness because I started aligning my chakras and I meditate now daily. And I do my daily mantra and I do like daily manifesting on a book that i have i also have a new moon stuff it's just a lot of things that i believe in and it's, i love it i love it i love it i love it i just i just didn't stop showing up for myself like every single day i'm making conscious decisions of what i eat what i think what i put in my mind even the music i listen to and the people i hang around with the people i answer the phone to and even the people that i'm gonna start looking you know for because i'm like fucking that shit about you know a lot of things <laughs> so yeah that's how i control myself so giving you guys some wisdom finding out you know what could help you cope with your mind